Hey everybody, welcome back to Hot Spine for Co-op Germany with me, Rival Zone Gaming and Commissar Roach. Hello. Uh, end of the last video, what was pretty much what's been going on for the last couple of videos, we're, with, we're at a stage where we have to research prep. lots of stuff. It's a lot of prep work to get things done. A lot done. of prep work. Uh, we're really finding out what it takes to invade an island. <laughs> yeah. Which is what the Germans had to deal with when they went wanted to do Operation Sea Line originally in World War II to go after the United Kingdom, and that was this little stretch of ocean just here, this little bit of water here. This is what's causing the problem because we have to research landing craft. We need to upgrade all of our infantry equipment. We need to upgrade our tanks. We need to upgrade our navy. We need to upgrade our fighters and all our aircraft. It's a lot of stuff that needs doing just to go across, uh, what is it, about 10 miles worth of water. Yeah, and all the time we're wasting on that, well, not wasting, but all the time we're doing this, the more they are building up, the more yeah. and more they are working to uh, to deepen their trenches and and uh, strengthen the, their, uh, their defenses. It is. And the longer we take to do this, the more Russia is going, hmm. Germany, you look ripe and juicy to eat. Yeah, that's and the Things big problem like is we'll have to actually create a landing force. We can't deploy anybody from the Eastern Front to nope. the UK. We'll have to make a new force, fresh. And that'll be their first battle is sea line. So That's scary. I mean, yeah. just in the Dover province alone, they've got 47 divisions. Yeah, just in Dover. Just Dover. Just in Dover. Yeah, that's it. You know, and um, what is it? Ten thousand men per division. Uh, it, like can, it can vary so much. Like our, I like I think our basic infantry. Let's check our basic infantry. Fuck. Ooh, British Parliament. British base. Parliament makes <laughs> intervention. It's in, a little late. Uh, how? It's a little late. I guess that's how a, are you going to intervene on that? You can't even get outside your own ports. Manpower. We uh, our divisions are ten thousand at. T yeah, 10,100 men. Alright, so if we say 10,000 men per division. Yeah. 37 times 10,000. <laughs> we took out the Nelson. Oh, brilliant. Man, we took out the Nelson, and it's it was it was uh it was escorting the HMS Furious, a carrier. So that's the kind of what we're dealing with in the way of offen uh, the defenses that we're gonna have to deal with. So we have to set up an entire new army. army without experience, because they they yeah. we can't pull anyone else off that line. So yeah, it's it's not I great. Mean, it's not that we don't have the ability. Like unlike real Germany, it's not like we're, we're limited on our supplies. No. We have everything but tungsten. Essentially, is in yeah. abundance for us. Uh, we have. Almost six thousand spare tanks, light tanks, yeah. two thousand spare medium tanks, two thousand spare medium tank destroyers. Our, our close air support is bar is is the largest. Is, is, our close air support craft alone that are in reserve probably outnumber the vast majority of nations' air forces because <laughs> we have almost two point seven k close air support bombers. In reserve. In reserve, not yeah. in used. That's in reserve. So for every one we lose, we're quickly replacing it. We took out the Furious, so that's carrier down. <laughs> uh, and the UK are basically sending out World One, uh, World War One era ships at the moment. World War One era or interwar period, just whatever they've it's, got spare to yeah. to try and patrol the waters. And they're going out and getting killed. Oh yeah, it's not going well for them. They have less than 50 ships now. Less than 50 ships in the whole Navy. So, that's where we're up to. Yeah, at this, um, at this point, I am almost certain the British would have gone to the negotiation table. They wouldn't have been kept well, fighting. We've been doing this particular kind of prepping and building things up and all that kind of stuff for, what, the last two, three videos? Yeah, it's, yeah, and we're getting close though. We're getting really close. We're, oh uh, yeah, we're at the point but now it's... where our biggest bottleneck was our construction because we had to reinforce the Eastern Front. 
Yes, with lots and lots of lovely, lovely forts, which are almost of, completed. Yeah, a lot of the things we're researching we need to build, but we didn't have any spare factories to build with. Those have been on the production line for a while, though, waiting. Yeah. So with the finishing of the these, uh, all of these uh, uh, forts, we'll start producing a lot of military factories. And, oh, yeah. And with that, we'll be able to start work on our anti-tank guns are going to be yep. uh, made and put out to our infantry units. Uh, we're going to be able to start working on our longer range fighter and aircraft. Like we have strategic bombers and we have uh, heavy fighters, but they are they're a second they, they, they don't have a lot on the production line. I think they're we have like seven uh, heavy fighter factories and we have like yeah. I think the same amount for strategic bombers. So we're making less than five strategic bombers a week. And we're making less than six heavy fighters a week. Um, let me see. Yeah, we're four point six a week on the uh, four point six a week on the strategic bombers. Yeah, so that's our that's our big bottleneck right now. Yeah, Isn't very big bottleneck. So yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. We're still doing that prep phase, but. You get a sense that this is like the calm before the storm. Because it's going to be a hard fight. It's going to be oh, a yeah. very hard fight on the British mainland. Oh, we took out the HMS uh, Sopshire. Sop, Sopshire. Uh, English Channel. Uh, it's a heavy cruiser. Shropshire. Shropshire. Uh, and yeah. uh, almost killed the HMS York. Yeah. So that's a thing. Shropshire, yeah, Shropshire's a thing, yeah. Uh, took out another destroyer. Looks like the Ark Royal is deployed into the channel. Oh, I was just about to click on that, then it disappeared. How yeah. dare you! <laughs> I try and I'm trying to keep these things because if you don't if you don't manage them, they'll just they'll just take up the whole screen. All these things. No, it's fine. I don't, I don't they need to disappear. It's fine. <clears throat> No yeah, problem. A lot of American uh, volunteers are in Sweden. Really? Yeah, look at it. It's the majority of the force counterattacking against Italy. <laughs> oh, yes, so it is. <laughs> hey, we right. Um, we wanted... Um, ships. Because we're on... 1936 era stuff. Um, do you want cruisers or destroyers first? Destroyers, because those those are built pretty quickly, so we can uh, get those out there fairly easily. Okay, 52 days for your new destroyers. Destroyer 3, the Narvik class. Yeah. 13 days until landing craft. Do you want me to just stick to ships right now, or do you want me to go and... No, just kind of one line on the ships. You want to spread it around Spread the leg. Spread the uh, love. When the landing craft are finished, we could go to electronics, engineering, and uh, gotcha. pick up the last of the computing machine. That'll increase our research time by 5%. Or cool. we could go with atomic research. Research time, negative 2%. Berwick, Heavy Cruiser 1. It's going up against something that it really should never go up against. I mean, it's hey, you gotta give it to them. They're uh, they're really they're like trying their best. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Uh, fight in the Western Approaches, just north of Scotland. We actually had a, a somewhat decisive battle with our subs. Oh wow, the London, the Orlando, the Wanderer, the Whitehall, the BT Battle Cruiser BT, and the Carrier Ark Royal. Yeah, and the BT took some damage, too. It's down to yeah. 20%. By the way, that Orlando, I am almost certain, is a Lend-Lease from the U.S. It Probably. sounds It sounds like it is. The H, like, maybe it was the USS Orlando before? Probably. Yeah. Let's check and see what their, what their uh, Navy looks like now. 30, 35 ships. Oh... That's not good. That is not good. 
Uh, arc rolls down. Killed it. Yeah! Uh, sorry, right. I shouldn't be happy about that. Okay, let's look at this. Let's start producing some something. Uh, something, yeah. Yeah, because there, there is a landing, there is a landing zone, a foothold in Sweden. We could theoretically deploy, we don't have to land troops, we just have to move them across the Baltic, which we own. So we could, right. if we can get some troops together, we could deploy them there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to train up. Ten so divisions. by deploying them there, then you will get experience. Yeah, 10 divisions of infantry. I'm going to deploy them. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have them train there. So 10 divisions of those. Uh, we're going to make 5 divisions of motorized. One set of those. Uh, train up 5 divisions of panzers. Over there. So that'll be 20 divisions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we also have 18 divisions of paratroopers being made. We'll also have to make probably... Yeah, there's the US on our war now. Yay! It's still called the German-Polish War. Well, yeah, because that's how it started. Poland hasn't existed for almost three years now. Nope! Now, Somebody the, might have... Uh... The big problem is that the, uh, the US has a very... Large navy. Yes. Almost 300 ships. So and I'm the thinking, Philippines as well. I'm thinking I'm going to step up our naval bombers. All of our naval bomber wings are around 100 to 200 per wing. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to increase them so they're all 200. And the ones that are currently 200 to 250. Because we have okay. uh, we have how many spare? We have almost six hundred naval bombers in, in reserve. So I'm gonna bring you up to two hundred. Gonna bring you up to two hundred. So we're having our stranglehold around the uh, UK is even more important. BT. Yeah, keep the US from uh, reinforcing them. HMS BT Battle Cruiser One, strength twenty percent. Still alive, huh? Doing its best. It's not going to last. Yeah, we can only hope. A heavy Light Cruiser hope. 1, Erwick, taken down as well. Nice. Okay. Who knows, we might lose the war because of the US, but I'm not going <laughs> to... Not gonna give it to him on a silver platter. We're we're gonna fight it. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight. They're still sending convoys. Well, now there's new convoys because of the U.S. coming into the war. Probably giving lend-lease or something. Yeah. Not that it's helping them much. Nope. Does Norway have any? Air bases. No. Why not? Eh, I wish they did, because if I did, I could deploy naval bombers from Norway. Might have to start looking at uh, getting an upgraded uh, naval bomber design. Increasing their range yeah. by a lot. Because that's the biggest problem we have right now, is the range is limited on them. Just imagine if we could uh, deploy one and we could reach up to, like, uh, Greenland or Iceland. Just oh. Iceland. Yeah, just Iceland would be good enough. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start a couple of more production lines here. We've got uh, got those. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's, we're making one toad anti-tank a day. Those. Henry, just give up. <laughs> Transport planes, putting those Landing on craft the done. Okay. Um, he wanted... 
he wanted to, um what should we call it? Um Computers. Computers or atomics, whichever one's uh advanced okay. computing. I'll go with um atomic research, it's 180 days, it's it's less time. Okay. Oh, okay. A lot of. Or do you of... want your improved radar? Um. You know what? Improved radar is a good idea. Because especially now that we have to deal with, we have we're going to probably have to deal with more in the UK now. Wow, that is a lot of things that have died in the channel. Yeah, it's all of these. Uh, it's all of these new convoys to the US. They're trying to get through, but they just are not doing well. That also, and we almost doubled the size of our naval bomber uh, force. Yeah. I'm even thinking about deploying some to the African coast from, like, Gibraltar or something. Mm hmm That could be an interesting one. I'm not sure if they would reach, but... Hmm. I mean, we still got the... Uh, we still got some forces in the Mediterranean, but it uh, looks like the Italians are finally doing something about it. They're actually uh, conquering Sardinia, where the uh, Ottomans retreated to after the uh, after Turkey fell. I feel like I'm just deleting these now. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my last couple games. Oh, we lost. The, they took out a destroyer, so or I think it was a heavy cruiser. So that's good for us. They're down to 30 ships in the Royal Navy. I can't keep going for much longer. And they've redeployed a lot of their things as well. Something happened to all the forces around Dover. Wait a second! Oh! I think all of those convoys were troops. No! I think they were all troops, because look at Dover. There's it's only empty. four units there. I think we just... You've got 12 in Portsmouth right now. I think we just sank the majority of their army. Where would they go? I think they're trying... I think they were trying to get to the US. Yeah, I think they did, because they were at, like, 200-something uh, divisions. But now they're at 187. Whoa. Oh wait! I just uh, just clicked that. I think they. Uh, what's their? Yeah, and they've lost a lot of manpower as well. They're trying to escape to America. But yeah, they're trying to get away. That, or they're trying to redeploy to the British Raj or to the to to uh, the Pacific, where the U.S. is probably going to do a lot of their fighting. Wow. Yeah, it's just convoys. Yeah, it's just convoys. I think those convoys are transports, because tra yeah, convoys concerned. can do... Oh, yep. Convoys can be transports or resource convoys. Um, engineering. I'll go for advanced computing. Oh, wait. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go for okay. go for tigers. Tigers? Yeah, tigers. Let's get some heavy tanks out there. Tigers it is. Yeah. And then the next thing we should do is we should look at uh, researching the specialty designs for the Panzer II chassis. So the uh, the is this color... after the Tiger is done, or when yeah, because the they're only thirty done? days apiece. Okay. So we could do so... the the self-propelled anti-tank and the or this I mean the self-propelled artillery and the self-propelled anti-air, those mm -hmm. two, because we already have an anti-tank gun in terms of the Panzer III. Yes. So we don't need to do anything else with that. Wow. Yeah. That's a, a, a big drop in people. Yeah, it actually makes our plan a lot easier. Yes. I was wondering what they were doing. May are also maybe they were trying to get to Sweden because there's a there's a good counterattack that that the US was leading in Sweden, but Yeah, between 114 and 178 divisions now. Wow. Yeah, that's what it is, because they were at 187 at the max last time I looked, so they're losing divisions pretty handedly. 
All right, we're making leopards now as our light tanks. Awesome. That is good. That's not only good, that's great. We, yeah. We are doing great. But that means we've got less of a a big job. Yeah, and as long as we can keep the U.S. from landing troops in support of the British Isles, yep. we can take out the British, and then the U.S. has a much longer range they have to, to extend to try and take back Europe. Just imagine having the UK and all of its air bases and our naval bombers deploying from there. We could reach yeah. Iceland. Oh, easily. Very easily. Very easily. And that'll basically just be a, an air shield around Europe. Yes. And our, uh, our Kriegsmarine's getting plenty of experience as well. Uh, yeah, just slightly. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Some of them have taken some damage from just continuous fighting, but uh, a lot of things have gotten hits and kills. Yeah, Bismarck's gotten... Uh, oh, what's, Bismarck has gotten two kills and two assisted kills. It's killed uh, the HMS Oscar II and the HMS... <laughs> Swedish word. <laughs> if you've come to my channel for correct pronunciation of foreign languages, you looked in the wrong place. Yes. So all right. I'm I'm right there with you, bud. I'm right there with you. Oh, they've almost taken Sardinia. The Italians have almost taken Sardinia, and that will officially oh. be the entirety of the Western Mediterranean under our control for the first time since the beginning of the war. Because well, Sardinia. Well, if one and... division of Mountaineers can t take on twelve. I mean, they haven't had they haven't had supplies for years. Turkey's been gone for like what a year and a half now, and those are all Turkish That's divisions. True. Yes. They've just been holding Sardinia and Corsica. Of course. That's why they're at twenty five percent attrition. Oh, we took out the Royal Sovereign battleship. It's gone. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. <laughs> you sure you're not just gonna be on a Brit on a British government list from from playing this game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly sure that's uh have got like MI six and MI five kind of going. Well that's the way he feels about us, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Tap his phones. <laughs> they have less than thirty ships in the British Navy now. Less than 30. Can you imagine? Uh, no, I can't. I don't even think the I'm modern really, British really Navy can't. is that small. No. And it's not that big. Like, oh, it's, no, it's nowhere near that big. Yeah, yeah, but it's... That is surprising. Fit fire down. Oh, we took out the Royal Oak. Yeah, I think the I think the only thing they have left is major shipping is uh is the old stuff. Marines. Okay. Finish the Marines. Marines are done. What do you want? Uh we should probably go with the uh mount infantry too, since we have the bonus to it. Uh, we've also got the uh SDKF uh Z eleven. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could do that. The only problem is is that unlocks um, mechanized infantry, which is different than motorized infantry. So we basically right, get a okay. new type of infantry, which would be good. Uh, basically, we could replace motorized for mechanized, mechanized in the Panzer Corps, in the Panzer Divisions, and start to, and start integrating motorized into the normal everyday. Uh, yeah. Oh, we took out the, the Marillies, Rimillies, uh, which is, I think, the last of the major battleships on the English Channel. Because it was a, it was a it was a squadron of three. How many times have I heard that though? <laughs> well, I mean, they just keep finding more. <laughs> it's not going well for them. No, no, it really isn't. Uh, 
So an Arvik class will be ready in 10 days. Good, good. And you can start upgrading your Navy. Navy. Sucks for you. You don't really have a lot to do in this. Uh, your your your, no, it's, uh, it's your fine. It's, sphere it's, of control with the military is uh, it's not really uh, around this. It's fine. I get to see my country crumbling before my eyes. It's absolutely great. <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> eh, the the effect wears off after a couple of months. Believe me, I'm an American. <laughs> No, it's all right, man. I mean, it's it's more a uh, us talking, and the decisions that are being made about the different, you know, why we're doing this, why we're doing that. Yeah. Okay, we're making a good amount of toad anti tank. That's good. It's not a good toad anti tank. We still need to go deeper. Yeah, we've got to upgrade that. Um, I'll go with some. The next thing I'll go over to is uh, those kind of things. Well, the next thing that's gonna the Narvik's gonna finish, you could do that. Uh, then yeah. the Panzerfaust thirty. Once that's finished, you can go for the support weapons, and that'll yes. catch that'll catch us up on our infantry equipment. Um, unless you want me to go for another ship with an, after the Narvik's done. Uh, no, no. We'll uh, we need the uh, we need the anti tank guns because we're gonna have to modify. Oh. We're going to have to modify our infantry uh, divisions with those. I'd rather them be good guns instead of, like, old, you know, 1936 era. Yeah. They're not going to punch through otherwise. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe a Sherman. They can maybe take out a Sherman. Cause, I'd I mean, rather have... It will certainly take out a Sherman rather than it maybe take out a Sherman. Yeah, I'd rather have a Pack 40 a 75 millimeter. No problem. Oh, we uh, just we've started sinking some convoys from the U.S. Really? So it looks like yeah, uh, around the Bay of Biscay. So they're probably trying to get to uh, the U.K. Yeah, that's allowed. Door is closed. <laughs> yeah, we gotta hold them. Gotta make sure they don't. Ah, the uh, British Raj Indian trying uprising. to huh. British Raj trying to break away. I yep. wouldn't blame them. <laughs> I think I think it's a perfect time to break away at this point. You know, with uh, the UK almost collapsing. I mean, I think it's in the middle of collapsing. In all honesty, absolutely. Oh. We not get the anti tank upgrade. Uh, I'm sure we did. Don't know if we didn't. Uh, no. Pick it up. Oh, I will do. I'm sure we got it. Obviously not. Got some free civilian oh, well. factories. That's great. Well, I'm gonna make some naval factories or naval dockyards along the coast. Are you indeed? Yeah, we're gonna do this so that we can uh, step up our naval production. Okay. And then oh. uh, and then I'm going to develop the uh, southern French area. Canadian. We've got Canadian convoys. Yeah, we've been striking those off and on for a while. Um, and now we've got British convoys again. Yeah, I think they're trying to reinforce... I think those are people. I think those are units they're trying to reinforce the mainland of uh, the UK with. Well, you're not allowed. Yeah, they're not getting through. But we are at the Have end of time? this episode. Yes. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> this one's you. They're shooting by so fast. Yeah. Uh, me? Yep. Yes. Yes, it's me. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, if you like the video, then please do hit the like button. Um, and if you're watching myself, down, down to the uh, comment section, you'll see a link to Roach. And on his video, you'll see a link to my channel as well, if you're over there. Um, but yeah, things will 
increase in pace in the coming videos is simply we have to build up to go after the United Kingdom. This was a big thing with all those convoys, though. That's going to make things a lot more interesting in the future videos, especially now that the US is involved. Yeah. I'm worried about that. Hmm? But until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. We'll see you there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.